Okay, so we're gonna pull the engine, hopefully, in a couple of minutes. We've got our trusty heister. Uh, right now the hood's closed and the bumper's on, but... Let me raise the hood. You can see we've got chain hooked up. We have chain hooked up to both heads in the front and in the back. The bumper is on, but there's no bolts, so we can just lift it off. And now we have straight access to the engine compartment. You can see we've got plenty of clearance on this side. Plenty of clearance on this side. Uh, all the wires, everything are disconnected. We unfortunately were not able to disconnect the drive shaft at the rear differential. Um, we undid the bolts, we bashed on it, we soaked it, we bashed on it, we put a jack underneath it to try and free it up, uh, but that didn't happen. So what we're gonna do is pull the whole transmission out and hopefully the slip yoke will come out of the end of the transmission. Uh, I hope we have enough clearance. My concern is lifting up out of the motor mount. Uh, we have to get it high enough that it clears so that we can pull back. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, we're ready to lift it. Uh, since we couldn't get the tail shaft out, we put a jack with wood underneath the transmission. Now we have the wheels facing so that it should roll forward on the jack, hopefully, instead of just dropping down. And here we have chains and uh, stretch, what do, you, what do you call that stuff? Uh, the yellow stuff. Uh, ratcheting straps uh, all set up so we're we're pulling from the front the middle the back and it's all tied together so it should pull as a unit and then we have the part of the reason we do that is so that it can't slide off the uh, chains can't slide off when we go pulling forward thanks to the uh, tree hugger straps and then we have the the heister itself on plywood, thick plywood, because one, if it heats up, uh, the asphalt will get soft, and two, it makes a nice smooth surface for the tires. So we're pretty much set to go. We loosened, we didn't take the the hood off, but we loosened the bolt so we can tilt a little bit if it has to. Uh, but we're already we're already to the bulkhead on the trans on the truck so I don't see a problem uh, we still got plenty of room to go <clears throat> the engine and transmission are out um, you can see I used all sorts of chains and stuff front and back I even used the strap going back to the uh, back of the trans so it wouldn't tilt all the way down on its own I could control it by hooking it up to the top of the heister which will tilt. Now as far as taking it out, there you go, completed. There was some transmission fluid which was to be expected because we never were able to disconnect the drive shaft from the rear so we had to uh, pull the transmission and the engine forward and then it slid off the yoke. <clears throat> did have a lot of trouble with the uh, all the motor mounts there was no way to come forward it kept hitting everything so when I had it up a little bit I had to take them off completely also had some problems with the exhaust flange uh, catching on stuff it was it was not an easy pull I'm surprised I actually uh, dented that up a little bit but 
uh, it's done, it's out, uh, no real damage that I know of to the transmission or the engine. And now it'll just be a case of, oh yes, there actually was. I bent the fan blade, which I'm not too worried about because I'm pretty sure I'm getting rid of this uh, fan. Um, so next step is uh, separate them and then start tearing them apart.